Hello everyone, Rudar here with another Grounded video. In today's video, we'll be going over the new stuff that was added with the public test server and patch 0 0.6.0. So as you can see on my screen by that rock right there, there are mosquitoes. As you see also, there are bees. There are fireflies as well. I found my fireflies over by the, uh, the hedge at night when it was time to sleep. I did the fixed creature location in the game debug menu and I spotted them up in the air. But you see there are bees here. I'm not sure what these guys are doing by my tower. Um, but they're huge. Uh, if I turn that off, I'll turn off the markers in a second. But so we have three new creatures. We have mosquitoes, which are right there. They're hostile. I'm not going to get too close. They spawn in certain locations. So I'm going to reel my map. There's a thistle plant right here, though. They love to spawn around that. I have found a few over here in the western flooded zone by this base. And of course, I found some by the bird bath because, well, water. And they just love stagnant water. Bees are everywhere on the map. And I mean everywhere. They have a hive. It's kind of hard to see from this range. Even though I do have the. Um, I'm trying to think of what's called. The blur turned off. But if I get up here. You can see. Underneath the edge of the picnic table there. In the center of the screen. Just above the dot. I'll do that. The golden area. Just to the left of that zipline tower. That is the beehive. It's right underneath the edge of the picnic table for those who are wondering where it's at. And like I said, they are bees are neutral. They don't attack you until you attack them. So they are kind of like ladybugs. You know, don't mess with them. They won't mess with you. They hit hard. So if you do fight with them, be prepared for a lot of healing, a lot of fighting, a lot of moving. Now we do have some new crafting content. We have a full set of bee armor, which I am currently wearing. And I'll go ahead and bring that up for you. Oh, wrong button. So that's the B armor. Not the rotten B armor, which you see I have on my character. But the B armor. The way I got the recipe for this B armor is I went and analyzed my rotten set. So when you get into the game, whether it's on the public test server or the patch for the first time, you'll see the little red exclamation point next to the rotten B armor if you have it. Go analyze it. It'll give you the recipes for this. Let's go ahead and... Oh, gears here. We'll go ahead and bring that up so we can see what it, what it takes. So for the B mask, 5B fuzz, 3 silk rope, 2 berry leather. The shoulders is 4B fuzz, 1 stinger, and 4 berry leather. The shin guards, 4B fuzz, 4 silk rope, and 4 berry leather. So make sure you have a lot of silk rope and berry leather saved up. Uh, obviously you see B fuzz drops a lot more often than B stingers. It's kind of like ladybug uh, parts versus ladybug head. The stinger drops about the same equivalent as the ladybug head. Maybe a little bit better than ladybug head, but it's still, that's kind of how it works. Now, we also have the firefly headlamp, which I see I have equipped down here in number four, which I have a spider coming this way, I think. Okay. So you can see, I'm trying to get to a spot where it's kind of dark. I don't want to get too close to the anthill or that spider. You can see it's very directional, which makes sense. I mean, it's a headlamp. Um, it's brightness does, it's not super, super bright. And if you're say in the ant hill, probably not going to want to wear it there because the ants will attack you. Um, also if you're underwater, probably not going to want to wear it there because you're going to want to have your bubble helmet on. But if you're, and you can't really wear it in the haze cause you have to have on the gas mask. But if you're running around the yard and you don't want to carry a lamp, or if you're in the, the hedge area and you don't want to carry a lamp. And maybe you're using a bow and arrow and you want to be shooting at something while having light on it at the same time. There, you know, there's your, there's a, a workaround right there for you. For those people who want to do that. Now the next item we got, oh, let's go into how that's made first before I go into the next item we got. Hold on guys. So we scroll down here and here it is. It is four iridescent scales. So if you get a burgle mission for scanning or analyzing an iridescent scale or bioluminescent goop, both of these drop from fireflies. I had to kill... I think four fireflies to make sure I had enough to make just one of these. And of course you need berry leather. But after you after I killed my uh killed my fireflies, I went and analyzed my stuff because I always I analyze everything that has a little red exclamation point next to it. Uh because that's just how I how I play my game. Let me go put that back on. Now the next thing we have is a the set of uh, weapons you see on me, one well, weapon and shield, is the mosquito needle and the weevil shield. The Mosquito Needle gives you, it is a fast and deadly rapier that mimics the functionality of Mosquito's blood-sucking tool. 
Damage is kind of low compared to, say, a dagger. We'll watch that, you know, see the jump there. As well as there's no stun. The speed is the same as a dagger. But this one gives you lifesteal. Every time you poke something, because it is a pokey weapon, you stab. Every time you poke something, whether it be, except for Burgle, we tried that, uh, you can heal. And it's a, it's a small amount. It's, you know, maybe about the same as wearing a full set of ladybug armor. It, it's equivalent. Maybe not the exact same. But that's how that works. And then, of course, I have the Weevil Shield on me right there, which gives you extra blocking strength. So if you're wearing the full set of Ladybug armor, for those of you who like to block a lot and who've gotten really good at that, I don't block much in my game if you've ever watched me play, uh, you can max out your block strength because block strength, and this is all blocking strength, as well as healing. So you can really have a good... Uh, I thought I saw a bomb here. I have a, you can max out your blocking strength this way and heal... And also heal. So this is a very good healing blocking uh, setup right here. Very good healing blocking build, depending on how you're going to fight. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though, so I would still use something a little bit different. We'll get into that. So let's go into how we make both of those. So for the mosquito needle, to make that, we need two mosquito beaks. Typically, you get, well, you're going to get one per uh, mosquito. Silk rope, two of those. And two mosquito blood sacks. Now, I noticed that if I killed a mosquito without it ever attacking me or touching me, I only got the beak. But if I took damage from it, I had a higher chance of getting the, the blood sack because, of course, it has to have blood in it in order to get the blood sack. Makes sense. Now, for the Weevil Shield, you see it up here. It is a Tier 1 shield. It takes four pieces of raw weevil meat. In order to get this recipe, kill a weevil. It's going to, when you kill a weevil... You'll have the raw weevil meat. It'll have the red exclamation point up in the top right corner of the square of the weevil meat. You know, it'll be like right up here. You know, there we go. <laughs> here we go. It'll be like right up here. So you you can go ahead and analyze that, and that's when you get this recipe. And from the, rest, the recipe, you will then be told you need four raw weevil meat, which a great spot to get raw weevil, raw weevil meat, Lord, is right here at the toad. This is, this is Toad Island in the middle of the eastern flooded zone. I went there and got the rest of the weevils I needed instantly. Like, I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to search. They were there. Four. Three of them. I already had one. Two crude rope and two grub hide. If you don't have grubs, uh, well, you're going to have to go kill a few grubs in because the grub hide is the part that drops the least of the three items that the grubs drop. But once you get that, you can make your shield, and then you can run around sword and shield. And like I said, healing, blocking, this is the setup. So if you like the block and heal... This is it. I still would not use this. I've used this to fight, say, an Orb Weaver, and it took far too long because the damage is too low. I would prefer to use something like the Stinger Spear, which we mentioned just a minute ago, which gives you critical hit chance. Uh, if I didn't mention it, I'm going to do it and go through it anyway. As Or the Bone Trident, which gives you stun. But that's those two. Let's go back to the Stinger Spear. I don't, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but that's okay. So the Stinger Spear... I got that by analyzing my Rotten Stinger Spear. If you have not found the Rotten Stinger Spear and you know where the sunken T-Rex is, it's sticking out of his mouth. On the right side of his jaw, his lower jaw, it's sticking out of his teeth. If not, when you kill a bee, analyze these. I think it's analyze the Stinger, and it gives you the recipe for the Stinger Spear. You'll need one Stinger, five Fuzz, and four Silk Rope. Now, this gives you the bonus crit hit chance, which when paired with Coup de Gras, could be a really really good build so this is actually a pretty good build to run around with of course so is the bone trident because it gives you the stun they have the same damage so we just kind of go through that the damage is the same the change is the stun from that the bone trident has versus the stinger spear gives you crit hit chance which with no uh chance for stuns so that is one of those two things there I apparently did not bring what I needed for the heal bossa, so we're going to go run back inside real quick. And I'm going to go get a heal bossa. That is the new healing consumable. And I don't know why they call it a consumable, because you don't really consume it per se. But uh, I'll show you what that what I mean by that in just a second. So let me go up here. Where did I put my stuff? I used it and forgot to. All right, let's, kill a, let's go kill a... Uh, we're going to kill a mosquito real quick. You guys are coming along for a ride. So like I said, the mosquitoes are in this area. See how he is, his body is all white. There's no red. I need him to attack me. He doesn't want to attack me. That's fine. 
So he didn't hit me. You see just the beak. Now this one right here, I'm going to run up and make him mad. I need him to attack me at least once. Sounds like a helicopter. See how his body turned red? So that's going to give me my blood sack that I need. And you see blocking pretty much stops everything with the shield. Now with that one, you notice because he hit me, there's the blood sack. So now we're going to run into the base with the blood sack and we're going to make a heal bossa. And I'll show you what that is in just a second. As soon as I get up there, I need to get some silk rope and we'll go over what that is and what it does. But you see that if you want the blood sack, you actually have to allow them to hit you. But you see the setup I have, which is full ladybug armor, stinger spear, weevil. And I didn't even have on javelinier, which spears are increasingly deadly in your hands. That would technically make my, my damage even go higher. I'm going to come around. I don't need to go to that box. I have a bunch of these already made. Now, for the heal bossa, you go to craft, go to heal and health and snacks. Canteen, fiber, and there's your heal bossa. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, apologize if I am. I'm going to go ahead and craft that, and then we'll read what it does at the same time. A juicy mosquito blood sack wrapped so tightly in silk rope that it could burst at any moment. Showers allies in a small area with a healing splash of filtered blood jelly. Yes, you saw that correctly. Now, here's one thing I want to point out. I'm going to open this up. That's the heel bossa. That's the brat burst. That's the splat burst. They all look exactly the same. These two, you do not want to throw at your own feet. That one, you might want to. You know, just saying. So, also, too, if you haven't noticed, the smoothies all look different now. All of them. Alright, the Hiwasa is equipped. Kind of want to wait until it's daylight, so it's nighttime to sleep. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause while I sleep and wait for the daylight to come back up. And then we'll play with the Hiwasa some more. Alright, so now it's early morning. So, let's go back into this real quick. So, the Hiwasa is one blood sack and two silk ropes. And like I said, it's a it's tightly wrapped, so it's basically said it's going to blow up. If you and your friends are all injured and one of you is holding one of this, you look down at your feet and you throw that at your feet. And it splashes the area with blood. You and everybody who got hit by that gets healed. The healing on that is maybe 10% more than a smoothie question mark. You know, give or take. It's close to that, you know. Also, too, like I, I forgot one thing to mention with the... Mosquito Needle, the Life Steal, it heals you about the same, maybe a little bit less than each tick of healing you get from the Ladybug Armor. But that's the Heal Bossa. We also have two new uh, art pieces. The Stuffed Bee, which is really cute. You cannot see the wings, but they are there, so when you're hanging them, make sure you space them out uh, accordingly so that the wings don't push each other, or they will they look like they're going sideways because of that. One stinger, five uh, fuzz. And then down here, the Firefly, which is three goop, two scales, and ten might fuzz. These hang from the ceiling above with the little silk rope sticking out their back or whatever it is, a little filament. They, they hang from the ceiling like they're flying, kind of like the gnat does, but the gnat's ugly. These are cute. The Firefly sits on the ground. Its butt does light up a little bit. It's not very bright, but it does light up. It's actually kind of large. It's not quite as big as the stuffed bombardier, but it's very close. Now we have a new perk. It's called Barbarian. It is club damage increased, and that's going to be the Ant Club, not the new Mint. I'll be back out there in a second. I know you guys saw those foundations. The Mint Mallet is no longer the Mint Mallet. It is now the Mint Mace. The only reason I'm mentioning that is because of the description has changed on that hammer again. Even though it's not even a hammer anymore, it's a mace. So let me get in here, um, and I can bring that bring that up on the screen. So you have the Ant Club, which Barbarian Perk Club damage is increased, so the Ant Club is going to do a bit more damage now. Whereas 
the mint mallet. The only reason mint mace. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because it says a giant club is crafted from a chunk of ice caps. That's the only reason I'm uh, mentioning that. So other than that, I don't think it affects that. I, I do believe it only affects the, the ant club up here because it's you know an actual ant club. Now, one cool thing is equipped items no longer take up backpack space. So if you're equipping something and trying to find it to repair it and you can't find it, well, you saw that just disappear. It's over here. You have to look over here to find it. So now when you're wearing armor, it uh, doesn't take up space anymore in your backpack. I'm going to go put some stuff away while I talk. It, uh, it all is over there to the side, which is nice, out of the way, nice and clean. Same with your dandelion tuft. So if you're running around and you're switching between spear, dagger, sword, but you have the shield on, as long as you go from one one-handed weapon to the next, this all this stays here. These six spots stay out of your inventory, which is very nice, very very helpful. I'm glad they glad they finally got that implemented for us. Also, too, if you die while you're doing whatever, you know, fighting something, swimming in the pond, you drown, something like that. Everything over here on the right. When you die, stays with your character when you respawn. So you, I would, if I were to die right now, I would respawn with all six of these items on my character. My armor would take some damage because that's just, you know, you died, your armor's going to take a bit of damage. Uh, but all of this I would have to go find, this stays with me. So if you die and have to go find your stuff, you're at least going to have a weapon, some armor, your tuft. It's all going to be on you still and equipped when you get up. Um, and I can actually, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that here on stream. I'm not on stream in the video. I demonstrated on stream multiple times by messing up. Like I said, the bees apparently love my tower. I don't know why, but they do. Um, a couple gas arrows, and I would be swarmed by a bunch of very angry bees. They don't damage it, so I'm not really messing with them too much. All right, so I took off my stuff. I'm going to try and land to where... Oh, my Lord. I'm just going to let myself die. I'm not going to let myself die because apparently that wasn't high enough. There we go. So, now that we finally failed to die, <laughs> I'm going to respawn. All my stuff stayed with me. See, that my armor took some damage. That took some damage. Ooh, man, that took some damage. I had to repair that. That's okay. I'm going to go my stuff. Also, while I'm checking this, Weevil Part? Oh, that's something new. Okay, I just found something new in the video. So, weevil parts are back to being a thing. You need those to repair your weevil shield. That's that's uh, interesting. So, like I said, if you die, your stuff stays with you. Now, if you want to be sneaky and move around and maybe trying to get past that wolf spider who's sleeping, and most of mine, they snore a lot, they don't hear me anyway. But if you are creeping along, the player noise has a linear fall off, meaning it's easier to sneak around. Except the reason I mentioned wolf spiders, their hearing has doubled from 2,500 to 5,000. I'm not sure what that what unit they're they're using there because they didn't specify in the patch notes, which will be linked in the description below. But that's what they said: 2,500 to 5,000. And we've already been over the mint mallet is now called the mint mace. And I already told you guys that if you take your rotten bee stuff the three pieces of armor or the spear and analyze it it will unlock the recipe for the regular uh, parts and pieces also too if you are logging out of your game such as right here this log out save it doesn't put that random picture anymore it actually puts a picture of what you're doing so you can kind of match them up i always save right before i leave anyway so i get a double but you see this is me uh, manually saving this is me logging out and it's the exact same picture which yeah, you know, makes it a little bit easier to find what you're looking for if you're uh, trying to find a specific save somewhere to load up. Your nectar now spawns on the flowers and not on the ground. I haven't quite tested that because when I went over to that side of the pond where Yellow Base is, over there, uh, my nectar is still on the ground. But then again, I hadn't picked it up in a while, so that might be why. But it does say that nectar now spawns on top of flowers instead of below them. 
and I'm gonna skip the part about the brat burst for now. I will go to creative to show you what that actually means because I don't want to use my ones I have here. No, wait, no, screw it. I'll do it. I have extras. So they changed the visual effect of brat burst and splat burst, and I'll grab one of each. You know, I've got plenty. Well, maybe not plenty, but I got some. All right, so. I'm going to put Brat Burst there. I'll put Splat Burst there. Okay. I see which one's which. So six is the Brat Burst. It'll bounce. I remember that. All right. So one thing I want to show is that they definitely still hit the six. Cut the grass. So they didn't change that. And that's why I said they only changed the visual effect. What they did was Brat Burst visual effects better match the ingredients that were used to craft it. As in, if you've seen an exploding... Uh, infected weevil well it's gonna look you remember how it looks blows up kind of bluish just like that still cuts grass though and same with the splat burst but the splat burst of course is sticky I was a little too close I took damage but it still cuts the grass quite nicely um, but it just changes the the uh, animation, the explosion animation to match that of the infected weevils. Now I'm going to climb up on top of this rock, which you see the little hammers, and you saw those foundations earlier. They fixed foundations, guys. For those of you who have been wanting to lay a bunch of foundations side by side, they have fixed those. These are not been here for a while. I will prove that. You can now reliably lay foundations side by side. Three, what they said was foundations will no longer be invalid when snapping to other foundations that stick out of the ground too much. Even though I've had them be invalid with the like 90% of the uh, other foundation being in the ground, they were still invalid. But they fixed them. We can finally lay out big floors again, like such. <clears throat> now, here's another one that a lot of people are not 100% happy about, and I'm going to get some stuff to go to the top of my zipline tower. Well, this first one, you can no longer eat or drink while you're on the zip line. So remember how you used slide along, you'd have Max eat, say, a piece of nectar. He would let go with both hands to eat, or whichever character you use. Well, now you can't do that. If you're on a zip line tower, eating and drinking does not happen. You have to do it uh, off, the t off the line. You have to wait till you get to the other end. Give me two pieces of grass. I bring that with me for a reason. Because the next point I'm going to make is players will now drop all hauled items uh, uh, when they start zipping, as in when they start on the zip line. So let's go up here. Um, I do have a catch area towards pink base, so I will uh, send them that way. So you can still drop them on the line. I'm going to step back here. But if you jump on the line, they fall. Well, like I said, you can still drop your stuff right on the line and let it go. So at least that's still working for us for now. Don't know if they're going to fix that or not. I'm hoping they don't, but it's possible. Now, for those of you who play in uh, multiplayer and you're joining a friend of yours and they have uh, a large world built up like I do, the character will no longer fall through the world when loading a save in which... I'm sorry, wrong one. The character, you will no longer fall through the world when loading a save when there is a massive amount of stuff built like this. You know, if you would load into your friend's world, you would fall through the ground, look up, and eventually then you would all of a sudden get, you know, put back in the world. Well, that's, they've worked on that. Also, the character will no longer fall when loading a save in which they are ziplining. So if you're on a zipline and you save it going forward because it says it's not retroactive. So going forward, if you load a save that you were working on that you were on in uh when you save the game that will continue to zip line when you load back in so let's go ahead and test that too so we're going to start zipping notice i'm trying to eat can't eat trying to take a smoothie can't take a smoothie but i'm going to save right here now i'm going to load that save While I think about while we wait on that, oh, my daughter's coming to visit us. Might hear her in the background. 
Dew drinking while hauling is disabled to prevent issues where dew disappears without giving you any hydration. I'm not 100% sure if they mean the dew drops on the bottom of the grass or the dew drops on your dew collectors or what, but you see, there we go. Now, we still got the weird arm animation, but at least I'm holding on with one hand, at least. I'm kind of glad I chose to go this way because my next one is a huge one. This next spot is is going to be a big one. I'm going to swim over to that, ba that boat. I want to get the set of gear because we're going in the water. Let's go swim to the boat real quick. So I'm going to skip one for a second and just continue on my list. Uh, the Shovel Plus now has a proper faster animation because it never actually was faster in the animation. It was always just kind of eh. But it never really went that went faster that way. Also too, Clovers will now save and restore properly. In other words, if you have Clovers that are coming through your, clay, your Pebblet or Clay Foundations and you uh oh what am I thinking? You save your game, it'll come back and, it'll, and they're there all of a sudden. Well, they fix that. It doesn't do that anymore. They need to fix these armor dummies though. Alright. So now we're gonna play in the pond a little bit. I want to show you guys something that I think is really cool, but except for the fact that I collected them, so I can't go show you that. Never mind. Muscle sprouts. They are respawning again. I finally have an additional 30. I had 29 for the longest. I got 30 today during stream. Matter of fact, during, let's go see if they're back yet. Because it's been a couple days in game. So one quick way to check that is just swim down here to the bottom and peek through the window. Mine are not back yet, so I don't know exactly when I picked them. I wish I would have wrote that down. But they are respawning. Um... For me, at least. I know some people, they were respawning already. For other, many others, they were not. So, at least they will start coming back. We can start making smoothie pluses. Especially the Workers' Comp Plus, which works lasts for six minutes. I will link the description for... I will link a uh, the video for Muscle Sprouts in the description below. So, you guys can... If you guys want to look at that again, take a look at it. I will have that link down there for you as well. Let me get my stuff back on. Oh, that's right. If it's equipped, you're not going to see it. So you have to unequip it. Like so. And then come over here. There we go. But that is the bulk of what I thought was the important stuff. There is, there's a bunch of other, you know, bug fixes and stuff like that that are listed in the patch notes, which are linked in the description below. You can go, definitely go check that out for yourself and read it more in-depth detail. Uh, but if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, please drop it, drop, drop that in the section below. Jesus, I can't talk right now. But uh, if you guys like this content and would like to see more like it, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. And until the next video, y'all have a good one.